also hit Whiteland hard. News 8's Lakin McGee starts our team coverage with a look at the damage left behind there. Lakin? Hey, Hannah, so we are at the intersection of US 31 and Whiteland Road. So US 31 southbound is actually blocked off at the moment. Uh, I do want to get to an interview real quick. I, I saw this lady uh, pulling into the gas station. Ma'am, I don't even know your name. Would you tell me your name? Amy. Amy, thank you so much for stopping to talk with us. Uh, you were just briefly telling me you were stopping to get ice. Explain why. Uh, well, we haven't had power all night, and I'm not sure if we'll have power today. And I just thought I might try to save some groceries that I got yesterday. <laughs> it really does seem like everyone doesn't have power at the moment. So when the storm was blowing through, what did you hear? We definitely felt it and um, we felt the pressure change in the house and we could, we knew something was close. And then I heard, I heard debris hitting my roof and I mean, it just really did happen very fast. Like they always say, I think this morning is a little more emotional because um, I'm, I'm really surprised how our neighborhood looks. There's probably about 10 houses that lost their roofs right down the street from us. So. Wow, Amy, well, thank you so much for talking with us. I'll, I'll go ahead and let you go. Uh, we're praying for you today. You. We know that the neighborhood is, yeah, it's in difficult shape. So thank you. We appreciate you talking with us. Good luck for the rest of the day. We thank appreciate you. you. Uh, I do want to show some damage just right over here. If you look, uh, there is a power pole that looks to be down over there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's, oh, uh, the, uh, the more I actually look down now, I can see it's touching the road down there. Uh, it looks like they're actually, are they putting up more barricades? It looks like it. it looks like they might be stabilizing it just a little bit, but you can see that crews are trying to divert traffic uh, because, again, you cannot go southbound on US 31 here and at the intersection of Whiteland Road. Uh, so there is a ton of damage, and Adam Pinsker has been out here as well, just surveying the damage and looking at what we got. So Adam, I know uh, you're out and about right now as well. Tell us what you have. Yeah, Lakin, I'm up here at Greenwood Middle School. It is a Red Cross designated shelter. So for folks in Whiteland who don't have any power, need a place to sleep, to get some refreshments, uh, there's toiletries here toothbrushes, uh, baby products, food, coffee, um, and just a place to charge your phone. There is a shuttle service from the Whiteland Community School up here. And uh, we'll show you some video from earlier this morning when the storm came into Whiteland. Uh, as Lakin showed you some of the damage that is more visible now since the sun is up. But we did see some houses and some destruction in the early morning hours. We spoke with somebody uh, who was in his home when the storm came through. My house is shaking a little bit. I think so. I feel like I need to normal, but not a normal. My window is going to pop out. Just what I've driven around the Whiteland Road, Graham Road area, 400 north and US 31. We, we've got a lot of damage that's taken place from this storm. Um, some houses and some buildings that have collapsed as well. And that is the sheriff of Johnson County who is urging those who do not live in this area to not come down here, don't go into Whiteland because crews are still out working to make sure everyone is safe and accounted for. The sheriff did all, did tell us as well that the courthouse in downtown Franklin also sustained some damage from this storm. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and like us on Facebook.